how's it going everyone welcome back to the channel so so smooth here today we're gonna to be talking about the new patch coming out for the cycle frontier the closed beta patch 2.2 um they recently had a the 2.1 patch uh actually a few, about a week ago and um this one's gonna be released march 30th so pretty much today in about two hours i'm on the east coast time so let's get into it let's talk about the adjustments um right now material selling price increase to make uh looting more fun i think that's gonna be good because the best things that you can look right now is like ivy blossom a couple of flowers on crescent falls um focus crystals um old currency you know things like that so i think um the selling price increase is going to make the game a lot more fun it's going to allow people to get you know out of the old tier weapons and into tier weapons all right hard data hard drive data price increased um i think this should be about like when it's fully full of with data i think it should be over 1k k marts at least make it worth it um end game activities are more rewarding due to increased selling prices um that's just pretty much restating what they said material prices have increased so when you extract you have more money pretty much so i think they could have left that out um delivery and drop dead box rewards increase i think that's very good because um some of the rewards are worth less than the materials that you need to put in the direct in the drop box um so like four grenades is like was like 1500 for one grenade you know so that's like three thousand like six thousand dollars of in-game currency just found grenades alone not including other materials that you gotta put in there so i think the rewards would be better that's a good that's a good uh, adjustment. Crafting, res crafting re recipes for armor, backpacks, and helmets have been adjusted. So we'll see how that goes on whether it takes more materials or less materials to craft up armors and the backpacks. Um, subscribe to the channel because I am working on a um, armor guide, specifically green armor, on how to farm green armor. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. And more overall um, Cycle Frontier videos. Um, let's continue. The flashlight ray cast got optimized. Yeah, because the game lighting is kind of iffy. So especially when a storm comes out, the game gets really dark. And there's dark spots in the map that, you know, campers could easily you know, catch you off guard. Lighting got rebalanced. So pretty much same thing. Lighting in the game is really unbalanced i feel dark areas shade spots um sometimes there's certain areas of the map are too bright certain areas of the map are too dark so i think this will help a lot with just just the overall feel of the game and additional audio improvements i think that's good too because the previous patch they were working on audio adjustments and um, I think as they continue to work on audio adjustments, it'll make the gameplay better. As as well, you know, hearing is a big part of the game. Footsteps, your player breathing, you know, um, creatures coming up on you, you know, and stuff like that. So I think this is a very big um, adjustment right here, along with the the material selling price increased. Now let's go to the bread and butter of this patch which is going to be the weapon adjustments the weapon buffs nerfs things like that so let's start off with the c32 bolt action the magazine size got reduced from eight to four i think that's good because um the bolt action is a very very solid starter weapon and i think now people are gonna plan their shots better and oh not just keep shooting and like waste ammo you know it's gonna make you Think about your shots and think about your ammo. And the KM's, uh, the KM9 Scrapper magazine size got reduced from 18 to 17. I don't think that's 
I don't think that's gonna make a difference with one bullet. The AR-55 auto rifle, the refire time reduced from 0 0.13 to 0 0.11, damage increased from 12 to 13. I think that's gonna make a big, big difference for this gun specifically. Um, it's probably gonna shoot a little bit slower, but it's gonna hit harder. And I think that it's gonna make this gun, this, this gun, sorry about that, this gun, be a lot gonna be a lot it's gonna be used a lot more i think by the lower tier players that are working their way up to the you know the common weapons and the rare weapons and we have the Monticore damage has increased to 11 to 13 so two more damage um i think that's gonna play a big difference um, cause I picked up a couple multi cores from players and I haven't really been using it like that. Um, I'll definitely be using it around this patch to see, you know, what's the difference. The lacerator is getting above two. Um, base damage increase from 25 to 7 to 27. The phasic lancer, I still haven't had a chance to use this in this beta. I've heard that it's very, very good weapon. It is a beast of a weapon. Um, base damage increased as well from 11 to 13. But a lot of these weapons are getting their base damage increased by just a few, one to two, maybe three points. Um, but the Phasic Lancer, I think that's going to make a big difference. Um, it's already a good gun, so it's going to make it more beast of a gun. The, the Maelstrom base damage also increased from seven to eight. I haven't used that weapon yet because I'm still leveling up in my factions. KBR long shot base damage also increased from 35 to 39. Um, so I think they're working on the late, they're working on the late games, the late game re weapons in order to balance those out better as players are starting to reach those weapons more. I still haven't got that far in the levels yet. The Advocate, I am going to get this gun free from logging in 14 days, as everyone else will get this gun logging in 14, 14 days in-game. So the Advocate's damage has also been increased from 8 to 10. The, um, the Fichette gun, which is beast of a gun, I think it did need some nerfs. I did think it was a little bit too powerful, but you know, they did nerf and they did change the damage increase from 11 to 12. Um, the Gorgon, which I've heard is like one of the best weapons as well. Um, shots, shots per burst reduced from 15 to 12. Ammo per shot increased from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5. Magazine size reduced from 30 to 24. So I think they're really focusing on the late game weapons, not making them too overpowered, powered, and um, trying to just balance the field play overall, I think, which I think is good. The core, the KOR 47 base damage increase as well from 12 to 15. Hammer base damage increase from 26 to 31. The Voltaic Brute base damage increase from 10 to 12. I've watched a few videos on the Full Guard Brute. And it's a very good weapon too. Like I said, I still haven't reached these weapons in order to use them. Because it's taking some time. But we'll see in the future how that plays with the player base, the community. And the last but not least, the Ballisk damage got increased from 34 to, 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 to 34 to 40. And I think the biggest adjustment on this whole patch would be this right here. This adjustment right here. Damage amplification and reduction of shields has been adjusted to make shields feel more meaningful. I think that's going to help because, like, you know, you have to grind out to get, to get the materials to make the armor. And then you just get shredded or one-tapped by you know by somebody and it's like i just spent you know a whole day or two days trying to farm 
farm for this armor and then I get killed. So I think that's going to be good because let's say, for example, gray weapons versus purple armor damage gets reduced by 43%. 43% from the last before it was at 34%. So that's almost a 9%. Um, reduction, which I think is going to make a big difference and it's going to make you want to go for those higher tier armor right off the bat and work your way up. And let's continue. Actually, let's finish off with these bug fixes. The bug fixes UI, marker, and tutorial quests have been fixed. Additional adjustments to leveling the level streaming this will increase the download size. 15 gigs or more, but should it boost the performance? I think anything to boost performance in game is going to help the player base a lot because the game has been glitchy here every now and again and it's been kind of freezing and you know, it's bugs it's bugs to, to be expected with the, with the beta. But as long as they're working on it, I think uh, as more updates come, performance of the game will be a lot more fluid. Player reporting window and battle log has been fixed and now fills needed data automatically. Which I don't really know what that means, but if anybody does, uh, leave a comment down below. Fix smaller issues with jobs and campaigns. I think that's pretty much it for these closed beta patch notes. Um, this patch notes give you any great information. Make sure you like this video, help out the YouTube algorithm, and Make sure you subscribe for more Echo Frontier videos, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.